Oh, I'm on back. And today, I'm going to play a little bit of Fishing Planet this morning because I'm trying out a new mic. Well, actually, an old mic I've had that it's a headset and it's from Hunter Spider. Believe it or not, it actually works with the headset or with the pad controller for the PS5. I've never had any of the PlayStation stuff work with headset mics to make recordings like this. And I've got a hundred and twenty some odd dollar pair of Turtle Beach that was supposed to do this. Won't do crap. Will not record. Will not do any of this. But this Hunter Spider that I bought from Amazon years ago um, it now works with the PS5. And the whole reason this switch up is because I have a USB recording mic that was specifically said it was made for PC and PlayStation. So I bought it. It's a $42 mic. It burned out a port on my PlayStation 4, and it's burned out a port on my PlayStation 5. So I'll eventually have to get the PS5 fixed during the summer when it's slow. But I got two other mics on order that are supposed to be USB. And one's a USB-C that's supposed to be decent and not cause problems. But we'll see. So, hopefully, hopefully, we'll all have it. Stop causing damage to my PlayStation when these things are listed for PlayStation. But we'll see. Anyway, back to fishing. Go ahead and raise this bad boy up. Just so when I go to grab my fishing rod, it will be easier. <laughs> Before we do that, nope, 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 we're not moving time for it. See if we can catch some more trout. So I've been using a 4-0 hook with spawn sack, and now I'm using a 5-0 with shrimp. Um, shrimp seem to do a pretty good job of, ca of catching lake trout when you're doing bottom. Float fishing... I was doing really good with them with large minnows. There, I'll go ahead and get this one out. See, large minnows. I've only got so many of them because it cost me bait coins for them. But yeah, they were uh, they were tearing it up. And I, <clears throat> I do need to get a computer to record and um, some other recording equipment. But that's on the to-buy list right now.
I do know if my headsets are going to, like the Spider X will work with a PlayStation through the pad controller. And it'll do the recording and not cause problems. Uh, then I'll be sticking with Hunter Spider as my brand that I use. Because Turtle Beach, it was way overpriced. It's not delivering. This one... Mid-range, I think I paid $50, $60 for it, something like that, and um, no problem, no problem. And uh, it was just kind of desperation that I found out, I was like, hey, I'll give this a chance, we'll see what happens. And here it started working. So I found a workaround. So I'm happy that this summer I got to have my PlayStation 5 fixed. I just bought. But it is what it is. <clears throat> so I think I may just go to the PlayStation store and pick up my equipment from now on when it comes to this. Or get my computer, which I desperately need. Well, I usually do pretty good here. Kind of surprised. But I'll go back to the other area and we'll see. And it's been doing that funny glitch on me with my uh, rod there when I'm reeling it in. It acts like it gets snagged, but it's not. And you're and I'm waiting for it to be snagged and have to pull off. Uh, just like it's doing right there. But it's not snagged. It's uh, strange. Right over here. There we go. Kind of put it in the same area we were doing yesterday. Hopefully get a couple of lake trout before night hits. All right, something right off the bat. And like I said, I don't know why. I'm doing so badly.
with it over there. My reel is taking a beating. Probably a regular lake trout. It certainly has given me a fight for the day. For towards the end of this day. There we go. Finally gassed it. Oh, trophy. I'll take it. This one back out in the water. Let's see what's going on with this one. Like the fish just pulled away. We go here. And I'm short, but two hundred and eight isn't bad. See how far down it goes. So there's a spot in here <coughs> that um That goes down like a hundred and some feet, and I haven't found, I haven't rehit it yet. It just it goes down <laughs> pretty deep and it's it's somewhere where you can see that buoy uh, one of the marker buoys I have and it is out there and where that yeah where that fish just kind of porpoised right there is where it's at. Somewhere over there.
This one's got a lot of fight. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> As you can see, this little area right from where that green buoy is to in here. That's where I keep catching everything. I catch some things over here, but mainly over in here somewhere. All the time. Now you can see he's like, I'm, <laughs> that's the player next to me. He said, I'm going to switch over here because he keeps getting some luck. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I just uh, happened to cross this spot. This might be, this one might be the really deep hole. Like I said, it's right around that marker buoy I have there. And it goes deep. I think the last time I, uh, when I hit it, uh, I was at 115 feet. Uh, oh no. Now I'm about to cross the beams here. We're going to toss this pole out over there. So I'm about to cross the beams. Here we go. Let's see what kind of bad things happen here. Yeah, so I think it was somewhere out in here, around, around here somewhere. Anyway, let's get this out there before another. Fish decides that it wants to uh, chomp on mine pretty hard and take off. We're getting close and this thing's still sinking. 62 feet. Or maybe it was on the other bank where that fire is. Uh, you can kind of see. Uh, you can kind of see right there. That buoy was a campfire over there. That one was a deep hole too. See what we got. Uh, probably a barbut. A barabut. Never. Freshwater cod is what I remember them. Yeah. These guys. Burbot. Burbot. Uh, freshwater cod. They're in the cod family. That I remember. But, um, yeah, you catch those up in uh, northern Michigan and up north in the, in the deep waters where it's cold. So, yeah. Yeah. They're the freshwater cod. Nothing is as good as um, that I've had. We're up in um, Mackinac, heading to Mackinac Island. And this was years ago, but it had a um, 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 a, a little just family-run fishing operation that would do smoked fish. And um, I kid you not, I bought smoked whitefish and smoked um, salmon. Um, just because, you know, we, we know smoked salmon because we've had it from the store. Well, smoked salmon was amazing, fresh caught, and um, that little family shop, family owns, and, and doing that. Anyway, salmon was great. That whitefish, 
it was on a whole other level. It was like somebody had taken the time to hickory smoke something that tasted like bass, pike, and cod. I mean, incredibly clean, incredibly uh, flaky, great flavor. Um, and like I said, the, the texture of those, where it was the, um, the hardier type fish. It was pretty nice. It really was. I just hope the strike doesn't time out. probably going to I need a yeah I need a bigger batter reel for this one find that deep spot. Cell huh. sixty two. Let's go ahead and drop the hook size on this one. Number four. Oh, my bad. I tap the tap the R two. A little too soon. Anyway, you can see spawn sack and shrimp are um, pretty good. I've also had um, a lot of luck on um, small minnows catching them. And for some odd reason, the float, using a large minnow, I caught a um, trophy lake trout it was it was crazy but i did the barber hmm. let's switch baits here Crawfish cut. 
see if I get trophy barbarous. Size six. Sorry guys, wrong button. And um, well, while we're here, as you can see, probably gonna release this guy. Where is it? Right there. Second largest trophy trout I've got. Right there. Um 30, nearly 30 pound off of large minnows using that rig right there. The Brutus rod, big river reel, 41 pound test, pair float, size five hook and a large minnow. That's what I caught that trophy lake trout on, on a float. So um, I'm going to go in here and change this just because I don't know if it's blaring for you guys. But for me, it's like ramped right up in my headphone set. So um we're gonna turn that down to 10 percent there's a little music in the background when we're here great getting your eardrums blown out sucks <laughs> so let's see and plus i was throwing it right in this area here too all right which one's going on All right. Toss it right there. We'll put it in the middle. Right down the middle. We'll see if we get another trophy or who knows. But yeah, as, as you can see in my upper, oh, it was harder to see, upper left corner. I wish I could change the color of that so it's not blending in as, as easy to the rock face. Let's see, maybe, yeah, there we go. Upper left corner, you can see time and day, 19 degrees, 42 for the water temperature, light wind. And that fishing castle large plus, um, I picked that up with a bottom feeders pack for $20. Um, there, there are some games coming out that I want to play, but I'm just, I don't want to buy a game just because it's mainstream. Um. That's why I didn't buy the remake of Dead Space. So many people are doing Dead Space. Um, I picked up Harry Potter because my wife and I watch the movies. We like the movies. Um, so, 
so I picked up Hogwarts Legacy just to play a game in the Harry Potter universe, world, dimension, whatever you want to say. So I went ahead and picked that up to do that, um, to have some fun. And that's why I picked it up. And uh, believe it or not, uh, yesterday I was visiting my mother and um, she wanted me to put my YouTube channel on her subscribers because she wants to see what I'm playing and what's going on because of the, the grandkids. And um, I let her watch Greedfall and I saw how dry Greedfall is, which I'm going to finish it, but it's going to be it's going to be in smaller chunks here and there because um, that game is pretty dry. It really is. Uh, but when I switched it over to Harry Potter, <laughs> she she really liked that. And she said, oh, I, I, I want to I keep watching this one. I like it. I like this one, so I said, okay. You can, we'll put it on there so you can watch Harry Potter. And she liked it so much, she, um, <laughs> not only was she enjoying watching it, but she was falling asleep while watching it. So she's really relaxing while she's watching that, that. Play th playing with Harry Potter. So let's see what we got. A little bit of a poll. I don't know if I've got a regular or if I've got a uh, trophy. It's pulling some. What do we have here? Regular old lake trout. Oh, I forgot. I brought small cut bait. I wanted to see what size bar or we could get. I was planning on fishing into the night with it, seeing what we get. Okay, we'll leave that at four inch, and I'll use crawfish cut on it. Uh, 
let's check, see what other things they like. Medium cut and shiners. So we'll load up that larger one. So size 5 0. And let's do medium cut bait on it. There we go. Let's see what we get. And then with this one, let's go ahead and switch over to my glowing. We'll leave it at five. And we'll go ahead and put the crawfish cut on this one. I did know, uh, well, I do know, when I was using a lighter rod with my um, X-Series light float, they're ultra-sensitive, a 3-0 uh, hook and a grasshopper, I was catching all kinds of stuff. I caught um, the... The sucker, I caught splake, I caught lake trout, I caught salmon. Um, now, let's see. I'm going to try and remember all the fish species I caught on it with a grasshopper. Yeah, I caught the salmon. I caught a common brook trout. That's the, one of the only common ones I've caught. I caught barboat. Um, a lake, believe it or not, a lake chub, I switched uh, to really ultra light gear and put on like a number, number eight hook in a grasshopper. That thing took it. Uh, of course, lake trout, I caught a whitefish on a grasshopper. Um, I didn't go after pumpkin seed. I caught the splake. I caught the white sucker. I didn't go after yellow perch. So I pretty much caught all the species on a grasshopper, <laughs> which was just insane. It's like, all right, just uh, ultra light, that X float. Oh, and, uh, I think I had 10 pound test because I wasn't going after anything big, but I also in this game wanted the extra, the uh, extra bury there in case something nailed it which uh a salmon did i got it in but it jeez it took all my gear into the yellow i think i was at 50 to maybe 51 to 48 percent somewhere in there so in the almost turning red from that at salmon it was my rod and reel and line were pretty much done i had to take the bait off take the bobber off and fish with uh two rods and that that was it <laughs> and i was not expecting atlantic salmon on this side of the pier where, pier where we are now to take a grasshopper <laughs> and it did and it wasn't a small one I think it was close to trophy size. Like I said, I was not expecting that. And I it did. It just whammo. And that was the end of it. I was like, okay. Got it. Uh, this little section over here is the melting pot of the lake. You don't know what you're going to get when you throw it in there with a different bait combo. <clears throat> I'm 
like I said, hopefully this microphone setup does okay for you guys. If it does, this is what I'm going to switch over to and probably look at a, another Hunter Spider headset. I got something messing with it. Something really was messing with that one. We'll see if they take it. I've been like it going boringly boringly slow. On the small side.
Wow. Hunter Spider must be out of business. whatever it was would quit playing with it and take the bait. All I know is this last set of Turtle Beach. There's no way I'm buying another one. No way. Hopefully Barbara takes it for long. Wow, so many little tiny tap 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 taps.
Yeah, it's getting a little bit boring, isn't it? I didn't know Logitech was still in the game. So many little nibbles on everything. Nothing taken. So, I'm going to go get some coffee and some breakfast. We're going to call it here. See you all a little bit later.